really what we're going to start off with is to check if a point is a solution. For it to be a solution, you take each point, x and y, and you plug them in to both equations. If they both come out as uh, true statements, then it is a solution to the system. If it comes out as false, then it is not a solution. So, let's run through an example of this. So, what we are going to do is we say x, y. So, we take each one of these and we plug them in to the x and y in both of those equations. So, for the first one, the equation 1, it would look like 0 plus 2 times negative 4 equals negative 8. Well, the 0 drops out, so 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 equals negative 8. That is true, right? So, so true. All right, now we do the same thing with the second equation. So I'm going to plug the 0 in there and the negative 4 in there. So 0 equals 4 plus negative 4. 4 plus negative 4 is 0, and that's true. So, yes, it is a solution. We do the same thing with number 2. So again, to label it x, y, we plug it in. So the, the 2 goes in for x, the 5 goes in for y. So we got 2 plus 5 equals 7. Well, 2 plus 5 is 7. So that's true. Then we plug it in to the second equation. So 3 times 2 plus 5 equals 10. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 5 equals 10. This is 11 equals 10. That's false. So not true. So not a solution. So all you're doing with these is plugging them in and seeing if they work. Uh, and it's the same thing, again, x, y, x, y. It doesn't matter what orientation it is. All you're doing is plugging it in and trying to figure out if it's true or not true. What we then move on to is solving by graphing. So you'll notice that you create, you have two equations. You graph them both. You graph both of them. And you find that where they cross, okay? So, if the, where they cross is the solution, okay? So, first step, Right, is to find the solution. So find the solution is where they cross. So where they cross is a point. The point negative 1, 3. Negative 1, 3. That point right there is the solution. In this case, it's this point right here. So that point is 2, negative 3. And I can always check it by taking x and y and plugging them back in to see if they solve. Okay? So finding the solution is easy. Oftentimes, students have most trouble with graphing it. So for the last, these two, y equals 3 is... Zero slope. Okay, this is a horizontal line. Anything y equals a number is straight across. So what I do is I say 
this is a negative 3. So I go 1, 2, 3. That's B. And all I do is I draw a horizontal line at negative 3. Now I graph this one. So this is B. My M is 1. So what I do is I go to B, I go to 2, and then M is 1 over 1. So I go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. And I draw the line as straight as possible. And what happens is if I continue it, you notice the line cross there. So that is the solution. This right here is the solution. So negative 5, negative 3 is the solution. In this case, this is my B, 1 is my M, so I go to negative 6, and then I go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and I start graphing. For this one, it's plus zero, so I start right in the origin, and then it's down one over one, down one over one, down one over one, down one over one. So you'll notice that they cross right here at three, negative four. So all I'm doing is graphing and finding where they cross. That's all you do to solve a system of equations by graphing. All you do with word problems is you create equations, okay? So this is a great handout right here to, to follow, okay? So, when you're doing this, this tells you step by step what to do. So the first one is what, what the variables are, so x and y. Then the second step is to write the system. It means write two equations. In these examples, we're going to give them to you in y equals mx plus b form. Graph them, and then find out where they cross, okay? The thing is, you have to put now where that they cross into words, okay? So you need to know what those x and y are. So in this example here, Derek is going to have a party catered. I actually don't care about that, okay? Good Eats charges 120 plus $10 per person. So I'm going to highlight Good Eats as orange, okay? 120 plus $10 per person, okay? Food Share, I'm going to highlight as green, okay? Charges 150 plus $8 per person, okay? So what am I dealing with here? Okay. They're trying to figure out what the total cost is. Total cost, okay? So the total cost, what you're trying to find out is always Y. So let Y be total cost. Okay? Now, what determines that total cost? What determines that total cost are the people. Okay? You'll notice that it's per person. Per person. Okay? So, X is the people. Alright? Now, in this case, I'm just going to start off with Y equals 
So the total cost equals in Good Eats charges $120 plus $10 per person. So this is the start or B, okay? And $10 is the slope or M. So this becomes 10X, that's people, plus 120. So every time one person comes in, I multiply by 10 each time. So if I have two people, it costs $20 more, but no matter what, it's gonna cost me 120 bucks to get that company here. Food fare charges 100, 150, so that's my start for my B, and $8 per, per tells me the slope, okay? $8 per, okay, so that's my M. So that's gonna be 8X plus 150, okay? Now, I graph, okay? So, graphing is a little bit more difficult with this because I actually have to use the numbers. So, I start at 120. Now you notice, scales are different. Different. Different scales. So I can't just count. I have to go up by those numbers, okay? Uh, so what I do on this is I look and I say, all right, choose an X value, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna choose one 10. Okay, so in, I'm gonna just, so choose next value, plug in to the equation. Okay, so if I'm plugging into this first one, I would do 10 times 10 plus 120. That's 100 plus 120, that's 220. So that translates into So this becomes 10 comma 220. I can plot that. 10 and I go up to 220. And all I do is I graph that line. Now I do the same thing with this one. Eight times 10 plus 150. 80 plus 150, that's 230. So that's eight, uh, that's 10 comma 230. So in this case, I started at 150, and I'm at 8, or 10, 230. I connect the dots. Okay? So where do they cross? Okay? Where they cross is at this point right here, which translates to 12 to 40. So, answer the question. When will they be the same? Okay. They will be the same cost of $240 if 12 people come to the party. 
So you translate that point into the cost and how many people it would come. 